Okay, now let's see this example. Right? Example one, electrolysis of aqueous sulfuric acid. So this is uh, electrolysis of sulfuric acid. Eh? Sulfuric acid. So H2SO4. H2SO4. And when this sulfuric acid uh, dissolve in water, it form uh, hydrogen ions. It form two hydrogen ions and sulfate ions, right? Okay. And then uh, at the same time, okay, this is a solution, uh, solution because they say this is aqueous sulfuric acid. Uh, so H2O will dissolve to become a hydrogen ion and hydroxide ions, right? Okay. At A note, first they want us to list down the ion that presents. Okay. So what are the ions that presents at cathode? Cathode is the negative one, right? The negative uh, negative electrodes, cathode. Hydrogens. Uh, okay. Other than hydrogens? No. There's only one, right? Okay. There's only one. Eh? Because above, for both uh, decompositions, so the positive ions are hydrogen ions. Okay. So the ion that presents the hydrogen ion. Okay. Uh, so circle the ion to be discharged because there's only one. Okay. So for sure, this is the one. Okay. So hydrogen ions is selected to be discharged, first thing. Second, they want you to write the observations. Usually, usually they would like you to write the observations, okay? Now how to write the observations if I hydrogen ions uh, are present, okay? Anyway, let's write the half equation first, okay? So hydrogen ion will be selected to be discharged, okay? Before it discharges hydrogen ion, after the discharge, it will form hydrogen uh, molecule, eh? hydrogen molecule. And uh, to balance the equations, okay, here we have two hydrogens, right? So we must have two hydrogen ions, okay. Now, the atoms are already balanced, but the charge is not yet balanced. Because uh, for writing half equation, you need to balance the atoms or you need to balance the elements and you also need to balance the charge. The charge at the left-hand side, we have two hydrogens and therefore the charge is positive too. Okay, each hydrogen, the charge is positive one. So two hydrogens ion, the charge is positive two. And the charge at the right hand side, hydrogen molecule is zero because hydrogen molecule is neutral. So the charge is not balanced. And to balance the charge, we need to add electrons. We need to add electrons. Now the charge of electrons, the charge of electron is negative one. Negative one. To balance the charge, we need to put two electrons at the left hand side so that the charge is negative two and a uh, positive two plus negative two then the charge becomes zero okay then the charge become balanced eh? left hand side zero right hand side also zero then the charge balance that's how we write half equations first we list down uh, uh, the substance uh, at the left hand side and then so the substance at the right hand side and then uh, we balance the elements okay two hydrogens two hydrogens after that we balance the charge Okay, that's how we write the half equations. So from here we know that hydrogen's molecule is released, uh, and uh, this is a gas. So hydrogen gas is released. So how do we write the observations? Uh, so the observation is a colorless gas bubble off. Uh, you will see colorless gas form bubbles uh, around here. Okay, it form bubbles. So you will see a uh, colorless gas bubble off. You cannot write hydrogen gas is released because you can't see hydrogen gas okay when you see the gas you only see colorless gas okay you don't know it's a hydrogen gas or a oxygen gas or nitrogen gas you don't know so you can only say a colorless gas bubble bubble off okay and then you suggest a test for the gas the gas can be can rekindles a glowing wooden splinter that brought close to it mm, no this is not true okay uh, this is the observation for uh, oxygen gas. Eh? Okay, this is the observation for oxygen gas, so it's not correct. So let's erase this. Eh? So the 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 test is that uh, when lighted wooden splinter is inserted into the test tube that contain the gas. A pop sound is produced. This is supposed to be the observations. Eh? This is supposed to be the observations. 
So at cathodes, uh, the ion that presents are hydrogen ions. Okay, the observation is the colorless gas bubble off, and when a lighted wooden splinter is inserted into the test tube that contains the gas, a pop sound is produced. And the half equation is this one. Okay, the discussions are uh, okay. In discussions, uh, we tell uh, how this is produced. Uh, okay, how this is produced. So hydrogen ions move to hydrogen ion move to the cathode hydrogen ion move to cathode and receive electrons to form hydrogen atom two hydrogen atoms combined to form a hydrogen molecule okay okay now just now is uh, at cathode right now, uh, this is at suppose uh, this is at a node. It's at a node. What are the ions that present at a node? Sulfate and hydroxide. Okay, sulfate and hydroxide. Eh? Sulfate and hydroxide. Which one will be selected to be discharged? Let's see the electrochemical series. Eh? Let's see the electrochemical series. Where is my electrochemical series? Okay, so. This is the electrochemical series, right? And we have uh, sulfate and hydroxide. Eh? Okay, so hydroxide is lower. Hydroxide is lower at this uh, in this electrochemical series, and therefore it will be selected to be discharged. Okay, so those uh, ion which is lower at the electrochemical series will be selected to be discharged. Eh? So uh, circle the ion to be discharged. So let's circle uh, hydroxide. Okay, hydroxide. Yeah. Now, when hydroxide is discharged, yeah, hydroxide when it's discharged, it will form oxygen. So, okay, some students they write hydrogen discharge to form this OH. Yeah. Okay, this is not correct. Yeah. Okay, this is not correct. It does not form OH. Okay, there's no such thing. Yeah. Um, it will form oxygens and water. Okay, it will form oxygens and water. We have four hydroxide to form one oxygen, two water, and at the same time releasing four electrons. Okay, so this is the half equation, and you need to memorize this. Eh? Okay, for the others, uh, ions is easy. The half equations uh, is easy to, to write, but uh, for hydroxide, it's a little bit complicated, and uh, you better memorize it. Okay, the product is oxygen and water. Yeah, make sure that you memorize this. Okay, now just now we learned that the uh, the, the ion that presents are sulfate ion, hydroxide ion, and hydroxide ion are lower. Sorry, hydroxide ions is lower in this uh, electrochemical series, so therefore it will be selected to be discharged. And when hydroxide ion is selected to be discharged, it forms oxygens and water. Okay, and at the same time, uh, releasing electron. And to balance the equations, we need to have two water and four hydroxide. And uh, to balance the charge, we need to have four electrons. So these are half equations. And for the observations, the uh, observation for uh, release of oxygen is uh, first we see a colorless gas bubble off. Okay, colorless gas bubble off. The gas can rekindle the glowing wooden splinter that brought close to it where is this uh, H2O come from it's come from the hydroxide okay hydroxide hydroxide with another hydroxide okay so the H and OH uh, it will form H2O and another hydroxide with another hydroxide uh, it will form H2O again and this oxygen and this oxygen okay will combine to form oxygens that's why uh, four hydroxide form one oxygen and two water the the water come from the hydroxide so this is the ion the presence the observations and the half equations uh, okay so the discussions uh, hydroxide ions are attracted to uh, a node you know, okay, so this observation at A node. Eh? Every four hydroxide ions 
discharged produces an oxygen molecule okay so that's what happens eh? so hydroxide ions attracted towards the positive electrodes okay and at the positive electrodes you release electrons okay and then so every four hydroxide ions discharge will produce one oxygen molecule